Hello, today we're going to learn how to make a sketchbook like this and here are some of the old sketchbooks that I have this is like this one and that was like two years ago and you can see the homemade sketchbook is very it has different kinds of paper and it's also quite thin so it's quite light to bring out the house and you can see the cover this is brown paper and this one is um it's just scrap paper that i put paint on and made it into a booklet and a stamp and then i put stickers by ollie ollie say hi hi yes ollie say hi stamps and these are ollie's old artwork uh, when she was one or two years old and then i made it into the cover so it's all very useful and you have very nice textures this one is a mono print that i just cut out i didn't want to throw away and you can see there were lots of I'm not afraid to make experiments because i can make sketchbooks at home and I don't have to worry about ruining the paper. So you can see you can try out different styles depending on the paper. This one's an old, old, uh, it's an old poster that I got from my brother and I cut it up because I didn't want to throw it away. Here, this is with pastel, this is with tape. Cut out stuff, paste, cut and paste experiment with chalk pastels this one was like another rough paper one <laughs> this is experiment with acrylic just anything goes whether it's nice or not this is from a bakery Tombaru bakery and Guzman and just stick yeah okay different papers yeah this is with Toby and catalogs, cereal boxes, and catalogs. Okay, now how do we? First thing is, first of all, we'll need um, the cover paper. So you can use you can use uh, what do you want to use, Holly? Hmm? Brown. Or you want to use a magazine paper? I want to use brown. Brown, okay, good. Because we have brown here. Okay, we just need one brown. Unless you want the whole book brown. Okay, so first thing is you fold the paper here. Fold it like that. For fan. And then use the brown paper is not just color paper, right? Uh, no, I bought it from a paper supplier. So this one's from Singapore's RJ paper. You can buy it in bulk. It's A4. I buy an A4 A4 sheet so that when I fold it, it's A5. Right? So it'll be an A5 sketchbook. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's a brown color and it. it's it's it comes brown. <laughs> but yeah, you can buy color paper, it's, you can use construction it's paper. Like, too. It's like hard. Yeah, it's a bit harder hard. for cover. Yeah. In co Although you can make a soft cover which I do sometimes but see this one is soft it's just a magazine from I don't know Muji or some fabric supplier but it's kind of nice and soft also so up to your preference actually yeah so okay so we did we have the cover and then now we're going to make the we fold it nicely nice very clear line here okay then we choose the paper, you can choose any kind of paper inside. So for today, I chose this paper that I bought from the paper supplier too. This is called Vellum, it's very smooth, it's good for pencils and chalks. The paper is bended. Yeah, it's okay, it's homemade, so... Yeah, but smooth paper I found is, is good for pencils, because pencils is, is not... I mean, it's not bumpy, so pencils really feel nice on this paper. And then I have this kind of like a mankan paper, which is especially for printing, like printers. Do you need to tell the people the materials they need? Oh yes, remind me to do that. 
Okay, so we just got some paper. You can use drawing block paper or whatever. But just make sure roughly they're A4 size. Put them all together. And there's the materials. Okay, then, okay, we'll get to it. So this is the cover. We put it like this here on top of everything. Roughly, you want like in for the inside pages, roughly um, eight sheets. That's because of the how thick you, I mean, you, you don't want to make it too thick. It's, not, it's very hard to cut. And some paper cutters, you can't cut bigger than 10 sheets. Okay, so put everything in line, tap it. Um, yeah, it's not in line, just tap it again. And this is this is the materials, Oli. So what's this? What is this? This is a stapler. Yes, but it's not any stapler. It's a, like a long... It's called a long arm stapler. Yeah, a long And you have to use these, um, it, it tells you what kind of staples inside. The staples inside is... Um, yep, here we go. So you go to the shop, you find this is a 24 slash 6 size. Or oh, it says you can go up to 26 slash... Oh. But you can actually 26 can, you, 24 can you actually use a normal stapler? No, because normal stapler is thinner and I tried using other smaller ones and then when I staple it keeps on uh you know, the staple will bend. So you have to use the right size. But the, the staples these staples are not very they're not expensive. They're not much more expensive. How much is this? Oh uh, this one. This is not very expensive too. I think I got it for like 15 Singapore dollars. 15? One, one five. five. So in America, it will be maybe $10. <laughs> okay, so the long arm stapler is because you want to have a long arm to reach into the middle of the book. Yeah, a, st a short stapler like, like this, you can't. You, if you put it through, you put it through, then nothing is to... There's, there's nothing to, you know, to clip the other side. Okay, so let's do it. Let's not take too long. So this one, the long arm stapler is... The thing, the thing, it comes out about 1mm inside. So when I go over the line, I go 1mm above the line. So somewhere here. And you have to push it hard and fast. You cannot do go too slow because if not the stapler will just bend up and then you have to redo. See, this is bent up. So it bent up, oh no. So what, what happens when it bends up? Take you have to unclip. You have to unclip here. So usually the ends of a normal stapler there's this there's this little metal thing here. So this thing is for you to scoop up the old staplers. Yeah, and that's what happens when you use wrong size. But this one is the wrong. It's the correct size, right? It's just that. Uh, okay, just put it there. Oh no, it bent again. How come? Yeah. Okay, let's try again. What's it? You're mm -hmm. embarrassing yourself in front of YouTube. Yeah, but it's okay to show mistakes because. That's what, when a person tries it, that's what they might experience too. And so we can learn from mistakes. Okay, so you can see I did it correctly after three tries, two tries. Um, okay, just hold it here on, this, on the bend here and it'll bend for you because it's already bent. And then you try to line up the tips and then you press it. And what do we have here? We have a sketchbook that has um, all these things sticking out. These untidy bits. So what are we going to do with the untidy bits? Cut it. Yeah. Okay. So this is where you can have, if you don't, if you want just very simple things, you can have a metal ruler. You don't want a wooden ruler because we're going to use this to go beside it and a wooden ruler, maybe you'll cut the wooden ruler. So you need something really hard, like metal. Oh, and the kids who are watching, please ask your parents. Yes, yes, this is, you should, kids shouldn't do this, yes. You should uh, get your parents to do it. And then so what you do is you can use this. This is like a hardware cutter. And then you just go many times, like maybe 20 times. And then this whole part will come out. 
But, so this is one way. I'm not gonna show you this way because, well, you can imagine. What we're gonna do is we're going to show you this other way, but a more dangerous way. So this is the paper cutter that I bought from New York when I went on my honeymoon there. So this is called the Ideal Machine. And uh, here are the specs. You're showing Yaya's um, luggage. Yes, yes, don't tell everybody. Okay, so this cutter, I bought it because um, it allows me to cut like multiple sheets, maybe 10 or 20 depending. 10 or 20 sheets depending on how thick your paper is. Okay, so Ali, this Ali. is very dangerous. Yes, this is not for kids, so keep it out. Kids, usually I turn it the other way when I keep it, but right now it's just ready to cut. Okay, um, hold it. Hold, hold the camera, Ollie. Okay, so you can see this is the holder and this is the blade. This is like, you know, a curved blade. You can cut your finger off. Super dangerous. Okay, so this is to, to push the tray out. And you can see I cut some stuff here. All these cuts. Okay, so what you do is you can come closer. Okay, put show here. Okay, so now we're gonna just push push this thing out a bit. So this is the part we wanna cut out, about two mm or just enough so that you can see every part that's out jutting out will be cut off. This thing you press it down to hold it tight so it can't move. Okay, just hold, just watch this part. Okay, so now you have to do it fast. It's a bit loud, the baby's sleeping, but you close the door so that the baby can't hear. Okay then, how many sides are jutting out, Ollie? Three. Three, so you just make sure you just cut three sides. So this part comes out a lot. Press it down first, press it down here. And, of course actually to cut it softer, right? What I found is you can cut it further up, so you don't have that loud sound. Okay, so we just straighten it. Let's see whether we can cut it softer. See, it's quieter. Okay, so, yeah, so this is what we have. We have um, a nice sketchbook that has what, roughly, if there eight are, times, if there are eight, eight times, eight two times, 16. No, but each, each A4 has four, sides of A5. Oh. So it will be, if there are eight, eight sheets of A4, it will be 8 times 4. So what's 8 times 4? 8 times 4? Yeah. Uh, 8 times 4, come on. 30? 30? 34? How many pages? 32. <laughs> okay. So after you finish, we clean up the mess. And let's well, close the thing and let's turn it so that nobody accidentally cuts themselves. All right. Okay. So now um, it's up to you to decorate. The sketchbook is done and it's up to you to decorate. Um, um, I can see that um, recently, what I found is you can decorated in different ways. Like this one, I use a jelly print to make my own print on the cover, the brown paper. And you can do a mono print on it. Or you can do it before but and then you can bind it. I have it. a question. Yes. Will you show them a video of how to make a jelly print next time? Yep, possibly next time. Okay, and this one was what I have tried recently is I've just used my inkjet printer, printed out on just a random image or a nice image that I like on an A4 and then put it as the cover and then if you print it on nice paper use an inkjet printer and it feels really nice and you have a really nice printout and then this is this is actually cut up from magazines and old calendars and just stick it there so you can just practice your creativity with the cover yep that's it